So the next level to try is the Mist of Incapacitation. Wait, the airship dock is lost now too? I thought we were pushing them back. It seems they're moving quite fast, faster than we anticipated. This is absurd, don't we outnumber them? We do, but if this keeps happening, won't we lose the war? Come now, it's hardly a war. Then what is it? I've explained it, but it's best understood as, say, a kind of diplomacy. This is absurd. I'll do it then. I'll ensure that House Colvin regrets every building they take. Okay, we have two products to build. Interesting. Mist of Incapacitation Part A and Part B. Okay, fine. How are we going to do this? So we have Elemental Air. And we need to bind it to a Quicksilver. Okay, interesting. Up until now we've just been using Quicksilver as a reagent. Uh, or as a... Uh, catalyst, I guess. Uh, and we need to go to this thing, which is tin. So we just need to uh, transmute lead once. Okay, well, this looks like it ought to be fairly straightforward. Uh, doesn't it? let's deal with this first. So we will take, uh, we will take that and move it on to here. Uh, no, we don't need that. We need this. So we put the lead on there. We take the quicksilver and put it on there. And then that will become this. Uh, and then we use this. To dump that in there. And then we can probably just rotate the whole thing around to there. So that seems straightforward. Uh, and then in addition, can we can we make both of these at the same time? This as fast as we can. Um, no, let's not worry about that for now. Okay, so we want another bonder. Uh, what's it called? Technical name. Yeah, glyph of bonding. Uh, over here, and that could put that one in there, and then we can have another arm. Grabs that and puts that in there. Missing something. Uh, and then that will rotate. Arm four can rotate it to there to get that out. Okay, that'll work. Let's program it. So one grabs a lead, rotates counterclockwise. And uh, actually keeps hold of it. In the meantime, two grabs the quicksilver, rotates clockwise. Now, does that immediately consume it? I don't, I'm not sure I even have to drop it, but uh, I guess we will reset anyway. 
that might happen immediately. So this can just rotate again to get the now tin on here uh, and drop it and reset. In the meantime, three will grab here, will rotate clockwise. Uh, and then clockwise again, and that should be that product out. Let's just test that. Oh, okay. It didn't take into account the rotation. Well, there we go. That deals with that. This feels very easy. I feel like we're going to get a solution that, um, that does the job pretty easily. Uh, but I suspect it's not going to be the most efficient. Although, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so, then the next thing, as soon as two can, it needs to grab another Quicksilver and then rotate twice to get it to here and then reset. In the meantime, four, as soon as it can, We'll grab that, grab the uh, uh, element, and we'll go counterclockwise twice, and then reset. And we need to line these two up, in fact, so they would go like that. Okay, see how that goes. Ah, okay. Four is a little early. This is already feeling inefficient here, given how long. Well, well, that works. Okay, well, not bad, below average cost, uh, bang on the average number of cycles, and below average area. So actually, that was a really good solution. Um, not even sure we need to fiddle too much with that. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look, see whether there's anything obvious we can do to make it better. Um, Actually, sure there is. I think that's actually pretty good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's delete that. And we'll stick with that. I mean, I, I guess we could have... We, uh, we could have done something cheaper. We could, we could get something faster without too much trouble. Um, but I don't know. Given that we're below average in, on two of the metrics um, and bang on on the other. I'm happy to leave that and move on. These files contain a vapor that makes areas inaccessible for a time. A mist of poison? It won't be fatal. Not very honorable. Now Armand would be pleased. You have better ideas? Been struggling to catch up this whole time. Nonsense. We're making a good show of our defense while we wait for House Colvin to respond to our message. A truce will be negotiated soon enough. Would the terms be more favourable if we push back harder? Terms will be favourable either way. Armand is a master negotiator. It's how he built this house into what it is today. Ah, 